All right, guys, welcome to part five of my complete After Effects course. Today, we are going to do our first animation. So let's get into the video. All right, guys, Neil from Neil Collins Recording. Welcome to part five of my complete After Effects course. So we're still keeping it nice and simple. We're still very much on the basics of After Effects. Now, I do suggest that if you haven't watched the videos before this one, then please do watch them now. You can find the playlist here. Follow along with the course and we'll all learn together. So we've learned how to do some basic shapes, text, all that sort of thing. So today we're gonna to put it all together in our first really simple animation. It's not gonna be anything fancy, but let's get the basics right, as I keep saying. And then as we progress onto the more complicated parts of After Effects, then we'll have the basics nailed so the more complicated stuff isn't too overwhelming. So let's get into After Effects. Okay, so here we are in After Effects. Now the first thing we're gonna do is start a new composition. Now you either click on new composition or you can also use this little icon down here which will do this, exactly the same thing. So let's click on that. Okay, so we're gonna keep all of these settings the same. We're gonna keep it at 1920 by 1080. We're gonna keep it at a frame rate of 24 frames per second. We are gonna change the duration because we don't need it at 20 seconds. We're just gonna change it to five seconds which is only going to be a very short animation and we're going to keep the background color as black just so that we can see what's going on click ok and our composition has been created first thing we're going to do is just add some simple text so i'm just going to double click on my text tool and that'll put my text in the middle and i'm just going to type first animation Over here we have all our different text parameters that I could change, but I'm gonna leave the text as it is for this animation. You can change any of these parameters. We went through that in one of the previous videos, okay? Now it is already aligned, but if your text wasn't aligned, then you can go to your Align tab and you can just align horizontally and you can align vertically. And that'll make sure that it's definitely in the center of your project. So what you want to do now is deselect the text. So you do that by hitting F2. And now we're going to create a shape. So I'm going to go up to my shape tool and I'm just going to draw a rectangle around my animation. And again, I'm going to go to my align and I'm going to align it horizontally and vertically. So now it's again, it's in the center of my project. As you can see, the shape layer is now on top of our text layer, which we don't want. We want the text on top of the shape. All you do is you come down here to your timeline and you just click and hold and you drag it, the shape layer, underneath the text layer or drag the text layer above the shape layer, vice versa. And now you have your text on top of your shape, which is what you want. So now we have some simple text on top of a simple shape. At the moment, no animation, so let's get some simple animation on the go. So if we come down to our timeline, if we click on this little arrow next to our text, and you've also got an arrow next to the shape layer, then this is where we can add our keyframes. So if we click on this one next to text, okay, and if we go to this transform arrow and click that one as well, then it'll open up all the different keyframes that we can use to animate. Anything with a stopwatch is basically something that you can animate. So you can animate the anchor point, position, scale, rotation, opacity. So for the text, I don't want it starting inside the rectangle. I want it starting outside the rectangle and outside the project, actually. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my position stopwatch. And I'm. this is our horizontal and this is our vertical. And I'm just gonna move it by clicking and holding on my mouse. I'm just gonna move it off the screen. Just so it's just off the screen, okay? You can see here, it's just off the screen. Now it's created a keyframe, so the text starts just off the screen. Now I'm gonna move my cursor one second into the animation. Actually two seconds, let's just do two seconds into the animation. Now I'm gonna come back to my position here and I'm gonna, again, click and drag the animation to the center 
of the project. Now, if you move the cursor, you can see the text moves from off the screen to the center. Now, if you do want to see what's going on below the project, if you click on your space bar, then you'll see the little hand appear, and then you can move the project up and down, left and right, blah, blah, blah. So if you want to preview your animation, if I click on preview, brings up this panel. And now you don't want to change any parameters in here really. So for now, I'm just going to close this and just keep these parameters open. Okay, so if you want to preview your animation, you just press play and it will just loop it through. Okay, so now you can see animation moving from off screen, on screen, really simple. And to stop it, you can either press stop in this preview tab or you can just hit the space bar either or so we've got a simple animation on our text now so now we want to do some simple animation for our shape so I'm going to come down to my shape arrow and the same thing I'm going to go to the transform arrow and it's going to open up my parameters down here okay so for this I'm just going to change the opacity so two seconds in where the text animation stops I'm going to have the shape at full opacity 100% opacity so I'm going to click on the little stopwatch now I'm going to move the cursor back to the start and I'm going to change the opacity to zero okay so when the animation starts I want the shape to be zero opacity when it stops I want it to be 100% okay so now it's created a keyframe the same timings as the keyframe for the text. So when the text comes in, the shape should come in in terms of opacity. So again, if we hit play on the preview now, then you can see the text coming in and the shapes opacity going from zero to 100. Okay, so there you go, really simple animation. So another thing that's useful to know, you click on these little icons here, it will take you to the previous keyframe. So if we click on this arrow here, it will take us to the first keyframe. Click on this arrow here, and in this case, there's only two keyframes, it will take us to the next keyframe. But if there's more than two, it will just take us to the next available keyframe. Okay? And you can do the same on the shape layer as well. Okay? So either or. So let's just add something else just for a bit of fun. So if we go to our text keyframes, let's click on scale. Start off at 100%. I'm going to move the keyframe back to the start. Bring that down to zero. So it's going to start off at 0%. And then as the animation ends, it's going to end on 100%. This line here is called the motion path. And this is created when you create an animation. Now, each square represents the keyframes and the dots in between are the different frames. So each of these dots will represent one frame in the timeline. So that's good to know. Okay, and each of these squares is the actual keyframe. So now when we preview our animation, just press play or you can just press space. I'm gonna press play here. You can see the text goes from zero to 100 in scale, moves from off screen to on screen and the shape goes from zero opacity to 100 opacity. And that, my friends, is that for this one. Still keeping it simple, nice bite-sized chunks, so that when we get into the more complicated stuff, we got all the basics nailed. So I hope you've enjoyed this and found it useful. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up. If you've got any feedback, then please do leave it below. It's always good to hear from you guys. Read and reply to every comment. And if you've got any feedback from the course, it's golden for me. So please do leave a comment below and give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the course so far. If you're not already, please do consider subscribing to this channel, hit the notification bell, and then I can let you know when the next part of the course is released. I'm releasing content on a Monday and Thursday at the moment, audio and visual gear reviews, editing tutorials, filming behind the scenes, all sorts of stuff. So please do subscribe to the channel. If you are already subscribed, as always, really appreciate you guys. Just make sure your notifications are switched on so I can let you know when new content comes out. But that's it for part five of the course, and I'm going to catch you in part six.